term two, 2019-2020 academic session, nursery two, lesson one. This class is using read lead phonics text for nursery schools book one. I'm sure every child, majority of the people in this class have a copy of this textbook. So the learning objective of this is that one, at the end of this lesson, the pupils should be able to identify the letter sound A, this in form of capital letter I. So they should identify the letter sound A with word examples. Two, so they should be able to treat the given exercises in the textbook. Three, they should speak right using the word in correctly in a sentence. And lastly, they should know how to relate with ink that we have at the etiquette session of the lesson. All right. So now, the lesson is this. Letter I, sound A. Don't forget, teacher, write this on your board. Diction in English is your subject. Then you have section A. Just write A as usual. If you have always been uh, watching the board when our facilitators used to come to your school to teach the pupils. So under diction in English, you just write A, phonics. Then you write the sound A. Sound A. All right. So of course, your reference is, yes, let's sound A. Ridley Nursery Book 1, pages 26 to 28 is where this lesson is coming from. All right. So begin with the storyline. A, A, A. Do not emphasize the letter name, all right? It's just that we are using uh, balanced literacy by using whole language with phonics so that every child will be well carried along. Not every child is phonics compliant. Some of them, their own style goes with the whole language method. So for that reason, we teach them the letter name and the letter sound such that in some, uh, when they have to spell, I'm going to demonstrate that after this time. So you begin with story, the storyline. He get copied his note with his inky pen. Suddenly, he noticed that his fingers were inky. Then he shouted, A, 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 A on my hand. All right. So these are the pictures of a hinky pan. All right. So letter I sounds A. A as an ink. A as an infant. A as an igloo. A as an pin. All right. Then you come back. If you are the teacher who can draw, it's always very interesting that you do this on the board, write the uppercase I, the small letter I, side by side, and at the top four corners of the letters, you write ink. If you can draw, beautiful, draw with the children, love it so much. Draw a caricature infant, draw an igloo, and draw the pen. After that, then you come back, a -n -k, ink, I -n -k, ink, A -n -f -n -t, infant, I -n -f -a -n -t, infant, igloo, 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 I -g -l -o -o, igloo, pen, P -n, pen, P -i -n, pen. Don't forget that as you introduce this lesson, you say the jolly phonics rhyme for letter I. Ink of the mouse is my pet. She spilled the ink and got wet. The ink is spread all over the desk. A, 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 ink is wet. So that is the action that has been explained here that I just demonstrated. All right. So after that, you mark the spade as treated. Call on each child or uh, uh, ask them. Who can demonstrate a ink, ink, I N K ink, and do that? Call on each one child at a time to demonstrate the spe the sound and spelling of each word example here drawn. All right. Then after that, you move on to the next page. The activities. 
So don't forget our objective is that the children should be able to treat the activities in the text. So here you go, uh, the first activity. Normally, this very page 27, uh, uh, the way we go about the lesson is that we have this, the first page of the lesson as classwork. Don't forget the date you are treating the lesson should be written at the top of the page. Then that is the classwork for the day. After that, the next page, you give this very page as homework. Then this page is going to be classwork in line with the very first uh, page you started from. This, in this lesson, you have page 26 and page 20, uh, 28 as classwork, or page 27 will be given as homework. All right. We do this because it's easier for them to do the painting at school. Then it may not be every child that has crayon at school. So when they're taking home, the parents will remember to get them the wax crayon to do their coloring, and they have more time to do that at home and treat the other exercises on that very page. So the class activity, you pick a, uh, a copy of a child's text or you stand with a child so that you don't deny that child of using her, is her textbook and you read out from there, all right? So the, the instruction says, cross out the pictures that lack A in their names. Follow the given example. So ask the children, what is this? This is, I hope they are able to identify it. If they don't, you teacher tell them, this is a bat. Does it sound A? Then the answer should be on the negative that no, it doesn't sound A. There is no A sound in the word bat, but at bat. So for that reason, the picture bat is crossed out. It's been crossed out. So you move on to the next one. Of course, they've seen this picture in the first page of this lesson. So you ask them, what is this? They should be able to tell you infant, infant. Give them time to identify themselves. So what is this children? They tell you infant. Can you hear the A sound in infant? Yes. It's not impossible that some of them would say no. So you have to listen carefully and correct them. So any child that says no, you tell them no. In the word infant, you can quickly take them back to the first page where they have infant. So there is the A sound in the word infant. So for that reason, they are not going to cross this out because it does not like the A sound. So you, you ask them, are we going to cross it out? They should say no. So they leave that. We've demonstrated this to them as of last time, so they should know how to go about it. So you move on. The next one. So this is not to be crossed out because it does not like the A sound. The next one, pencil, pencil, pencil. Yes, it's in the spelling of the word pencil that we have letter I. But in the pronunciation, the pencil does not lack uh, does not contain the A sound. It lacks the A sound. Quick, quick, let me show you this uh, uh, in the dictionary so that you can understand what I, what exactly I am saying. Pencil, pencil. So the word pencil does not lack the, does not contain the A sound. This is it. Pencil. So there is no I. This one is a stress map. Pencil, pencil, pencil. So this is diction in English. It's not just phonics, all right? So get that right, please. So pencil lacks the A sound. It's in the spelling and it's not spelling. We are treating here, we are treating sound. So the next one, dress, it lacks the A sound. So pencil will be crossed out. Dress will be crossed out as well. Then the next one, this is a badge, all right, a badge. It should be crossed out as well because it lacks the A sound. And if you have any other name for this, I can't recall vividly now, but I know it's in a, a form of a badge. I think it's also called emblem. Is that emblem? 
I'm not certain, but I'm certain you can refer to this as bad. So the next should be crossed out because it lacks the A sound. The next one, basket, basket, basket. For you to be sure to, this word does not lack the A sound. So it's not basket, it's basket, basket, basket. So it should not be crossed out. Basket shouldn't be crossed out out because it does not like the a sound don't forget this is diction in english it's more than phonics all right and we give every child a solid foundation the next one is a van van this is a van this is a van all right it does not contain the a sound it lacks it too so it will be crossed out so so far so good only infant and basket contains the a sound so this two would not be crossed out while others will be crossed out the next one is rain 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 please get it right we want those children to learn correct pronunciation right from the start not that at first they will say pencil or basket you see that those things are contradictory all right so get it right teacher this is pencil it lacks the A sound. This is basket, it does not lack the A sound. So pencil will be crossed out, basket would not be, baskets would not be crossed out. So the next one is ring. It does not lack the A sound, so we're not going to cross it out. The next one is elephant. It lacks elephant, elephant, elephant. It contains the A sound, we're not going to cross it out. The next one is, please do not get it complicated, just follow the lesson as I'm presenting it here. If you have any question or doubt, feel free to contact me on the Telegram platform. I'll be prompt to answer you immediately I see it. The next one is airplane, airplane, airplane. It lacks the A sound, it will be crossed out. A glue, it does not lack the A sound. It contains the A sound, so we're not going to cross it out. Pig, contains the A sound, we're not going to cross it out. Table, table, it lacks the A sound, we cross it out. Bus, lacks the A sound, we cross it out. Then the last one, car, it lacks the A sound, we cross it out. You ask the children. This, what is this? They tell you cat. Does it contain the A sound? No. So what do we do to it? They will tell you cross it out. So that's the way you do it. What is this? This is a bus. They tell you that. You ask them, are we going to leave it or we cross it out? We cross it out because it lacks the A sound. The next one, what is this table? Does it contain the A sound? No. What do we do? We cross it out. So they'll tell you this. And that's why you are there as a teacher. You are the one piloting the affairs of the class. So um, while you're writing on the board in the first place, you could ask the children to turn to page 28 and trace out the A sound, all right? This is a flake, all right, exit stroke. So when they write, mm, like this, pum, 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 so the dotted, you, you take them through the description. The uh, small letter I, the sound A, is written just inside the blue line and it has its dot above, right above it on the blue line. So they do this. You take them through the tracing after tracing, then they come on their own to write the same way, you know, following the trace so that their work will be neat. Straight down. This time around, they are not tracing, they are writing out the sound A. So they write it one, two, three. Again, all through like that, all through, all through. So on three lines, writing in four places, so they only, they're only going to write the A sound out in 12 places at the end of the day. So with that, their work will be so neat. The teacher, please monitor them so that they don't just right so full no all you need is one following down from top down top down top down and top down just one on each side then uh, exercise f or activity f 
Write the grapheme of the missing sound in the following objects. What this means, grapheme is the letter, okay? So the child, they are requested to write the letter, that's letter I, of sound A. So, of course, I know the children, once they've done this, they know they are to write, fill in the gaps with letter I, sound A. A, A as an infant, write I here, sound A as an ink. Letter I, sound A, write it there as an igloo. Letter I, sound A as an insect. Letter I, sound A as an imam. Imam is an Arabic word, okay? So, the English is likely to pronounce it imam. So, as Muslims, you don't let emphasis on imam, just a as an imam, imam, imam. Pronounce it imam, don't emphasize the pronunciation except a pupil ask. And I'm sure those children, by the time you even be going this far, they are tired, they're getting tired of the lesson already. So before you call it a wrap with them in this lesson, try, try to, of course, ask them to write homework on this very page and the right stop, the right homework, capital letter H, W, or the write it in full without without hyphen or space. Homework, H-O-M-E-W-O-R-K, written together without any space. All right, by now you should have been used to that. We used to demonstrate that to our pupils in class. I can't find my pen now out of demonstrated but just follow as simple as I said it H O M E W O R K all right let me show you how homework is written right on this page homework can you see this homework written on a single line no hyphen no space and the spelling of homework it's pronunciation homework up down homework so that is that and so they know they have to paint this with beautiful colors tell them not to allow their parents to paint for them they should just get the crayon and do the coloring then you could give them an example here by them just doing what circling the a sound in infants and you ask them to do the rest when they get old here says Say the names of the following pictures and ring the ones that begin with A. So this is envelope. Envelope does not sound A. Igloo, yes. So they will circle Igloo because it's right in the first lesson they had on the previous page 26. 10 lacks A sound. They're not going to circle it. This is a beetle. It lacks the A sound. So they are going to... Um, Say, say the name of the following pictures and ring the ones that begin. Only the ones that begin. So you could just guide them to go straight to the pictures they saw in the first lesson on page 26. So they saw A glue, yes, it contains the A sound. It begins with the A sound. Ink, they saw it, it begins with the A sound. Infant, they circle it, it begins with the A sound. A man, it begins with the A sound. They should circle it as well. So making just... Um, uh, four pictures, igloo, ink, infant, and a mom that they, the children are going to circle. Oh, sorry, this is insect. Yes, it's the, it, the type of insect it is, is um, um, beetle, but given the what the author presented here, it's an insect, so it will be circled. We can igloo, insect, ink, infant and a mom will be circled. You are only discussing this verbally with your pupils in class. They are not doing it, but before our method is that before we give them homework to do, we treat it with them, we treat the lesson with them in class first. And lastly, this says exercise, I mean, activity D. We can refer to it as exercise too. Listen to your teacher as he reads out the following words, then underline the words that lack A. So, to, does it uh lack the a sound to say yes so you circle it pain does it lack the a sound no so leave it you don't circle it fit does it sound a yes so you don't circle it it's only the ones okay that lacks the a sound that will be underlined i'm sorry underlined 
handle it is here they are going to circle they're going to uh, circle as well referred to as ring there but here they're only going to underline the words that lack the a sound they've seen pen before they're not going to underline it they've not seen toe it lacks the a sound so they underline toe they underline part this one has the a sound they're not going to underline it Faith has a sound they're not going to underline it and pain has the a sound they're not going to underline it so quickly i'll move on to um the next one which is speak right speak right the children you should write this on the board at this level they're not writing notes yet we only write it on the board and explain to them don't say the the ink have pour on my hand children don't say the ink have pour on my hand say the ink has spilled on my hand the ink has the ink has spilled on my hand so how do we relate with ink with ink then so you take them to the next lesson which is etiquette do not play with ink so that it does not spill on your hand it does not spill on you rather do not play with ink so that it does not spill on you so please teacher take your time to write out the uh, uh, phonics the speak right and the etiquette note on the board for your pupils to see so with this we've come to the end of the presentation of this very lesson all right so you can take your time to take the children through the lesson as a summary okay which is the evaluation part of the lesson you are presenting the lesson should last 40 to 45 minutes so it's expected that treating the exercises with them presenting the lesson and all of that these are presented to you in 20 minutes so the remaining 20 to 25 or 24 minutes you know in the, you'll have to check the pupils book mark the activity done in class pay 26 and pay 28 while they have pay 27 as their homework so if you have any question, any clarification, feel free to contact me. I'll respond to you in due course. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson.